Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I just wanted to share an important message. So, um, last night, um, I was driving on the freeway and my car was on cruise control, and I was thinking, um, wait, what if the rapture happens right now and my car's on cruise control, so it's not going to stop. It's going to keep on going until it hits something. What if the person driving in front of me is a backslidden Christian and they're not saved? So what if I get raptured, I'm not in the car anymore to control it, the car just going on its own, going 75 miles an hour on cruise control, and what if it kills the person in front of me, the person in front of me that was driving, that happened to be driving while I was driving, what if the rapture happens and their blood is basically going to be on my hands, basically. So this is a message to all the unsaved, don't put the rapture behind your mind. Uh, the Bible says during the tribulation, two-thirds of, of the population on earth is going to is gonna die so basically you need to get saved right now if you're putting um, if you're waiting for the rapture to happen and you're thinking oh I'll be saved later what if as the ha rapture is happening there's a person driving behind you whose cars on cruise control and they kill you and you could have been and their car kills you and you could have been saved wouldn't, wouldn't wouldn't the person what if the person that got raptured um, imagine how bad they're gonna feel if they're in heaven knowing that you could have been saved and just because you had they happened to be driving while you were driving you died so just right after the rapture like like the bible says it's gonna be it's gonna be hell on earth so there's gonna be earthquakes so even if you know if, even if you're not saved and you're not raptured you're thinking oh i'll get saved during the tribulation what if you don't have the time to be saved what if right after the rapture happens uh you live in california and a and a giant earth, earthquake hits california and it it kills you and your family and you guys never got the chance to repent so it wouldn't be weird you're in california and earthquakes happening and you you never repented and next thing you know you wake up in hell that's going to be scary and remember your eternity is not a game this life you live right now is simply a test and this life you live right now is it only lasts a couple of decades your afterlife is for eternal and never ends so basically if you're in heaven you're basically there you can't get out if you're in hell well, actually, um, after the rapture, um, after the seven years of tribulations, the people in hell, heaven are going to return back to earth. So it, the Bible talks about that. You can look more into that. But if you're in hell, you're pretty much in hell. That's 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 where your eternity is going to spend. And hell is you're getting tortured. You're not just in hell and you're not just away from God. You're actually getting tortured for eternity. So you need to get saved right now. You need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Remember, Jesus wants everyone in, to join him in heaven because all souls were created in heaven and he loves you. He's, and Jesus, he sends out an invitation to every single person. All you have to do is accept it. Do not get left behind and do not think, oh, even if you're left behind right now, you'll get saved after the rapture. No, it's you're not even guaranteed time after the rapture because it's going to be hell on earth. Two-thirds of the population is going to die. And if God didn't interfere, interfere, everyone would die. So all you have to do is um, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins. Turn to Him. Um, pray to Him every day. And He loves you. He even died on the cross for you. Imagine how much He loves you that He's willing to die on the cross. And He did die on the cross for you. So pray to Him and ask for forgiveness, ask Him to be cleansed with His blood, ask Him to keep you away from all unclean spirits, and ask Him that He guard you with guardian angels. So you need to get saved right now because even after the rapture, you're not guaranteed any more time. It's basically now or never. And if you don't believe the rapture is coming very soon, you're blind. Just look in the news, look at the Bible prophecies that, that have taken place, and just look in the current events dealing with Israel, de dealing with President Barack Obama, dealing with earthquakes look at all the earthquakes that happened in the past week alone and the bible says the rapture is going to be um signaled by coming of earthquakes and the just the past week look at all the earthquakes that have taken place that that got to the news so yeah get saved right now and all glory to god because all glory belongs to him thanks for listening and also in the description box of this video i have a message please spread that even if that message message can save one person from hell it's going to be worth your time whether you have to print it out post it across your city um email it takes it anything you can spread the message thanks for listening